Wow, what a story. What a story. What a story. Just in time for the election. <laughs> November 6th. November 6th fireworks starting two weeks early. Ah, pow, bombs. Bombs? Are they bombs or are they not bombs? They're bombs. They're, they're, they're pipe, crude pipe somethings stuffed with black powder that look like a bomb, look like some jack off put stuff some black powder in there and sent them out all right so let's break this down all right so so um if you're if you have if you've been living in a in a hole you haven't heard that uh, somebody sent a bunch of uh, fake bombs to very very prominent democrats across the country right so far the count is at nine uh just this morning added to the list is joe biden <laughs> And uh, Robert De Niro down in Tribeca. Right, so, top so far the list: the Obamas, the Clintons, Wasserman Schultz in Florida, George Soros, upstate New York, Robert De Niro, CNN, Eric Holder, the former Obama G Attorney General, John Brennan, the CIA director under Obama from 2013 2017. Very important. This is the guy that said we don't do evidence. I remember when he said that with Trey Gowdy, we don't do evidence. And Joe Biden, blah, 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 that's nine. Cuomo is off the list. What they sent to Cuomo turns out to be a thumb drive. Inc inconsequential. Nothing. There's nothing burnt, right? So here's the things we want to look at, right? First of all, the, the, there's, two, there's so many ways to figure this one out. But we're, what we're waiting for now is the patsy. Ah, the throwaway. Who's going to take the blame? Who's, who's going to be... Who's going to be the uh, the uh, Lee Harvey Oswald, <laughs> right? Uh, that's what's going to happen, right? Uh, Conti's making that prediction, right? You're going to see that. You'll probably see it today or tomorrow. I'm surprised, you know, they waited. Now, the FBI, uh, Christopher Ray said, we have committed the full strength of the FBI to identify and arrest, right? Do you know how fast... The FBI can catch a guy like this. Do you know how quickly they can do it? They can do it in hours. There's so much evidence, right? There's the materials of the bomb. There's the postmarks. There's the, 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 um, the to and from. I want to talk about the, the, the two most significant ones, which is they're, they're reporting, uh, the news is reporting that most of the news, who even knows if it's real, but they're reporting that uh, the two packages to Soros and CNN were hand-delivered. All right, let's stop right there. Because to hand-deliver something to CNN, right, at that office, if you look down at Columbus Circle, right, where they, where they evacuated yesterday with Trump Tower across the street, Central Park, that is one of the most photographed. There's a police station underneath the... the, the Underneath Columbus Circle in the subway station is a police station. That's why you see all the police cars lined up over there, right? To get into that building and drop a piece of mail without being photographed is unthinkable. That is one of the most secured corners, secured buildings in the world. That may be an exaggeration, but it's very, very secure. The idea that, that a photograph of the perpetrator hasn't surfaced yet or won't I'm sorry won't surface is ridiculous right so so that is evidence but what's profound about it is that that was yesterday Wednesday right but Monday this is even more ridiculous right on Monday a bomb addressed to Soros same crude bomb from the same pile addressed to Soros was thrown in his mailbox in upstate New York right now George Soros, first of all, the other thing to remember is that rich people don't open their own mail, right? A guy like, like, a guy like, um, I mean, it's, a, it's unfortunate when it's sent to a poor person who actually does open their mail and possibly gets blown to pieces. But in this case, people like Hillary Clinton and Obama, they don't open their own fucking mail. They got slaves doing that shit, right? But, but the idea that a guy, a billionaire, paranoid guy with tons and tons of death threats doesn't have someone photo doesn't have a photo doesn't have photographic evidence of someone delivering a package to him is also ridiculous right ridiculous it's in upstate new york what the guy run by foot and stuff it in the mailbox no there's got to be he was in a vehicle right he had to have he pro most definitely was in a vehicle so what we're looking for is well look the patsy is going to be someone it looks like in this area it looks like new york city area 
upstate New York, some kind of kooky upstate New York guy who he, he chose to hand deliver two and then probably flung the rest of them in the mail. We know there's nine so far. There might be more. But anyway, it's whoever this whoever the patsy turns out to be, and it's it looks like it's a setup, right? This guy thinks he's he's a do gooder. He's working the operation. You know, they approach him. Oh, you're gonna fucking save the country from Trump, right? And it, and he's doing he's doing he's gonna save the country from from Clintons. I'm sorry, I take that back. Right? You're doing the work for you know the president or whatever the psycho the psychosis of this is. Right. The objective of the establishment is to disrupt the election. Right. November uh, 6. Right. And I, I mean, I had called this like I like I said yesterday, I called it back in uh, August, August 13. I did three, three in a row videos because I just got the sense that the false flag would come. And in that I reviewed it and I, I said um, that it, it would have it could be a Russia, Russia scare as well. And you see now how they're tying it into Russia, how they're how they're now the narrative of this guy. It's already a Russian bot. Right. They're already speculating without any evidence, already speculating that it's a Russian bot. So you're starting to see that tie in. And also Trump's uh, uh, rather aggressive, unusual uh, statements about pulling out of the Russia nuclear deal also seems to be uh, the other side of the coin. So. It's fair to say that the Patsy is going to be something. Some they're going to try to tie the Patsy into into Russia, but Russia in itself is also possibly part of this false flag. So, so, so the postmarks, right? The other nine, eight, seven items were postmarked, right? Post offices with cameras and. Video surveillance and no, there's no, they don't have the guy yet. I, I don't know. It's coming. I mean, we should, again, the Patsy we should see today. We should see a, uh, something. Uh, what else? Copycat, copycat crimes. That's common in something like this. You'll start to see, you might see a few fakes come up. But the, um, I mean, you know, the idea that the FBI hasn't rounded this guy up, it's already now four days from Monday, the first drop in Soros's box, right? And and um, so, I mean, American democracy. This is this is out of hand. I mean, this is this is so fake. Oh, I'll say about the Patsy. They're gonna uh, what's gonna happen to the Patsy? They're gonna kill him. I think that um, it'll be the case of apprehending him, and they'll find all the evidence, and you, you might see an image of him walking down in handcuffs, and the, they got the criminal, they got him, and then suddenly he hangs himself, or he, you know, he, he overdoses in the, in the fucking cell, on, or chokes on a ham sandwich, or something, something, that's, that's my two cents on it, so we're gonna follow, I'm gonna follow this, follow up on this one, and uh, try to talk to some people, see what other people think of this. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.